Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today is my first clean beauty video um, here on this channel. And so I decided to start out with my favorite clean beauty, natural beauty brand, and that is Silk Naturals. I don't hear enough people talking about this brand. I watch a lot of clean beauty videos here on YouTube and I just don't hear anybody talking about it. If there's a corner of the internet that I'm like totally missing here, let me know because I would love to hear some other people's thoughts on this brand because they've actually been around for quite a while, like way before clean beauty was like such a trendy topic. And so um, they're a small business, they're out of Truman, New York. I actually don't know how small this business is because there's a ton of really good reviews on their website. Their line is huge, it can be kind of overwhelming. And so that's why I wanted to start doing some videos on this brand because um, I wanna share with you guys the gems that I've found um, in their extensive line and everything is super affordable. Like, do you remember e.l.f. when it was like this tiny little section at Walmart? We're talking like that kind of affordable. Um, and so all the products that I'm gonna talk about today are under $12, I believe. Like I only have one product that's $12. Everything else is like under $7. So super affordable. They offer samples on most of their products and so it can be even more affordable, like 99 cents affordable. And so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and share with you a full face of favorites. I have foundation, powder, blush, bronzer, contour, highlight. Uh, brows and um, lips so I have a ton of products to talk about so let's get into it so the one thing I don't have to talk about is primer so we'll move on to foundation so they offer uh, two formulas in their foundations one is a mineral powder and then the other is a cream and it actually comes in a stick form so I love that it's actually like really gives me like kindergarten glue stick vibes and I love that their uh, shade range for foundations is great. It reminds me of Cover FX in that they separate um, undertones and then have like tons of numbers in between that range from like super, super fair to very deep. So I absolutely love that the line is very like inclusive. You should be able to find um, a good color match for you. So this foundation, I believe, is 11 or $12. I wear mine in the shade N30. Um, the ingredients, it does have capric, caprylic triglycerides in it, and that, I believe, is coconut oil or coconut-derived. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. So if you have trouble with that, if that tends to not do well with your skin and then keep that in mind um that's the first ingredient and it has a ceramic microspheres and candelia wax um and then it also contains titanium dioxide mica which is the pigment and iron oxides super minimal ingredients i love that i love that it's in a stick and for me i think this is the ideal vehicle for um a cream foundation when you're applying this to your face your body heat is actually kind of warming up the product and helping it just glide right on um, and then I think it blends in really well I would say this is a medium coverage foundation and then it's definitely buildable it's what I'm wearing right now and I didn't use any other concealing on my face just under my eyes and so I'm really happy with the coverage of this but I don't think that it looks super cakey or dry, which I find with a lot of cream foundations, especially the ones that come in like a little like pan. Uh, for whatever reason, I just have a harder time applying that. And this just really works well with your body heat to help with the application process. So I recommend trying this out and um, you can actually get samples. And the samples are 99 cents, I believe. Um, this one's in the shade G20. And so it's a little bit more on the yellow, golden, G golden undertone. I actually use this um, under my eyes as a concealer and a brightener. Um, so you can pick these up in a bunch of different colors and test out the foundation. I decided this is how I started out and then I decided I wanted to spring for a stick. But this lasts quite a bit, especially if you're using it for a concealer um, because a little bit goes a long way. And so this is a great way to test out different colors. You can order a bunch of different shades and they're a dollar. 
Okay, so moving on to powders. Today I used Transparent Cloud, and that's my current favorite. Um, it comes in a little baggie, I believe for in the 11 or $12 range as well. Um, and you just transfer it into like a little container like this. So I love that. I think it's low waste packaging. There's no reason that you need to get a new tub every time you need to refill the powder. And then again, if you're like trying out different kinds, once you run out of one, you're not just like tossing away a ton of plastic containers. So I love that. Um, this plastic container I ended up getting years ago at the container store. Um, I'd like to find a like glass one. So if you know of one, let me know. I'm gonna look around and I'll leave some linked below if I find them. Um, and then if I can find one like this, I will link it below. Um, this was $1.79 at the container store and it actually has the little like sifter lid thing at the, the top. So this is a really great translucent powder. I find that the longer it's on my skin, it really warms up and sinks in and doesn't look too powdery or cakey. So this is what I have under my eyes. And then this is like one of my favorite products of all time. Like not favorite clean beauty product, but like favorite beauty product of all time. And this is one of their Perfecting Glow powders and it is in Splendid. This reminds me of Hourglass powder. Like, this is magical. So this is what I have over the rest of my face to set my makeup. And it just gives the skin, like it just sets the skin perfectly and gives it a skin-like, like kind of luminous finish without being shimmery at all. I am obsessed with this powder. It's amazing. Sometimes I mix it in with a transparent cloud um, if I want it to be a little bit less luminous, but um, I obviously have highlight on my cheekbones, but just like over the rest of my face, hopefully you can tell um, that it just gives you a really nice natural skin-like appearance. You don't look too dried out or cakey or powdery. Okay, so moving on to like contour and bronzer. Um, so the first thing is actually again the HD foundation samples um, and so I ordered mine in deeper shades so I got mine in the shade N100 and N30 and I just kind of go back and forth in between the two and mix them and use them as contour and because I'm using the same formula for my foundation it works together beautifully and just like blends out really really nicely so the next cream product I would categorize as a cream bronzer and this stuff blends like a dream. It's a little more on the warmer side so that's why I would categorize it more as a bronzer but it has no shimmer in it whatsoever and I will often just like apply this um, as my contour and even eyeshadow like in the corners of my eyes for a little bit of definition and this is just an amazing super blendable product. I really, really like this. I usually apply a powder over the top of it because it has a little bit of a slip to it. I think that's what makes it so blendable. Um, so it might not be have the most lasting power if you were to use it without a powder over it, but I just really love the way this blends out and the undertone on me. So the next two are powders and their color powder products, well, all of their powder products are loose powders. They do offer a um, kit to press things into pans. I just haven't sprung for that because I thought that the whole loose powder thing would bother me more, but it just doesn't because these products are so blendable and amazing that I just it doesn't bother me. Uh, it, but if it bothers you, there is options to buy from them to go ahead and, and press them into pans. So the first powder is um, their number two Shady Lady. Um, it's a contour powder. It's a really nice cool tone. Works really well for contour. Lends out so beautifully. And then the next one, which is what I used today, is Drama. This is actually in their blush category. It's definitely a bronzer on me. Um, it is one of their matte blushes, but I believe they even categorize it. It's in the blush category, but I believe that it's marketed as a bronzer. Um, this is has a little more of a red undertone and I really like that because I think that it gives more of a sun-kissed like warm I just got back from J Jamaica kind of a bronze okay so the next thing is blush and somebody please just give me an excuse to try out more of these because they are my all-time favorite blushes like I've tried MAC I've tried NARS I've tried Makeup Geek I've tried you name it, I've tried it. And these are my favorite blushes 
ever, 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 specifically these two colors. So the first blush I tried out for them was actually a sample and it's in Desert Plum. It's one of their matte blushes. I absolutely love the formula of their matte blushes. Um, this is the sample size, so it comes with just like a little bit in one of these pots. So you get quite a bit for the sample size and I still have some left and I got this like over a year ago. So the samples go a long way. But that's what prompted me to go ahead and buy some full sizes. And um, so the first one I got is Bronze Beauty. This is amazing. It's like what I hoped NARS Orgasm would be. Um, it doesn't have like the chunky glitter in it. It's just this beautiful, luminous blush. I use it um, on its own and I use it also as a blush chopper. I just use it every day. I sometimes put it on my chest. I put it on my eyes as eyeshadow. If I could just like pour this all over my face, I would. And then finish on me is just like the perfect flush. It has, it's a matte blush, but I swear it has like the tiniest bit of like a luminous finish. I use the word luminous. It's just like a lit from within. There's no shimmer in it, but it just has a really beautiful like sheen to it a bit um, that I just think is gorgeous. And so these two I use every single day, finish and bronze beauty, but somebody just give me an excuse to try some more. Like I would love to do a dedicated video on just um, silk natural blushes and order a bunch of them because <laughs> I absolutely love them I'm sure they're not all my cup of tea, but uh, I'd love to try some more for you guys So if you're interested, let me know Okay, so moving on to my favorite part, which is highlight So I'm going to start out with cream highlights and the first shade I'm going to talk about is strobe This is a stunning champagne highlight the formula is really interesting it is not greasy like i can't emphasize that enough this is not a greasy cream um highlight like i'm a big fan of the rms um like living luminizer and i have like a golden one i use those and i really like them they have their place in my beauty routine but this if you are oily i would say that you would like this much better than the rms and this is like a fraction of a fraction of the price of the RMS but this is just a really beautiful like silky kind of a formula it glides on I just blend it out with my fingertips and it's stunning on its own but also works amazing as a base for their powder highlights and then I have the shade limelight and this is just a beautiful pearl shade um, this would be great for my fair girls I like using this like under my brow bone in the corners of my eyes just to add a little bit of brightness and highlight um, but I am a huge fan of their cream highlights um, they also have a golden one I think and some more like luminous blush shades so again just give me an excuse to or place another order okay here's another product that's holy grail like a hundred percent my favorite across all categories this is actually one of their eyeshadows in the shade goddess but I use this as a highlight and it is Stunning this would be amazing on mature skin. This would be amazing on people who uh, have more texture Which is totally me. I have um, Quite a bit of texture on my cheeks and this is not shimmery at, like not glittery at all This is just the most beautiful glow I'm gonna try to swatch it for you and I hope that I can do it justice because this is amazing I think it's like six or seven dollars. So just order a pot of this this is my second pot and i'm telling you you're gonna thank me for it this would be a beautiful highlight for a bride because it just would look like she's lit from within it's not like an in your face kind of a highlight so moving on to brows they have brow powders as well as brow pomade i have not tried their powder yet i would like to um but they i have tried the pomade and i got a sample so again it comes in this little like capsule and it's just like a little dot of product. I've had this for over a year and it's lasted this long, but I'll definitely spring for the full size um, next time I place an order uh, because I really like this formula. I would not say that this is comparable to the like dip brow or anything like that. That's like, it's really easy to go from like zero to 100 like painted on eyebrows. Um, this I think has a little more wiggle room little bit more user friendly that it's not so much pigment that you can go overboard really easily but it stays in place really nice for me and I really like the shade range on this so I got mine I got a couple different colors this is in medium ash 
I have dark brown hair, but this works great for me. I like to use a shade like a step down from what my natural hair color is so that I don't have like Sharpie brows going on. Um, but I really like their brow pomade, so I'd definitely be interested in trying the powder. And then the next thing is actually a mascara, but this is in the shade um, brown. And I actually ordered this specifically because I was looking for something to replace my Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I'd love to try the Glossier Boy Brow. I just haven't tried it yet. This was $8.95, so I just thought I'd give it a go. And the first time I did this, <laughs> the first time I put this on my eyebrows, like you can see this spoolie is pretty large. The first time I put this on my eyebrows, I was like, that was a mistake. Like the, <laughs> that was a mistake. Like it was terrible. Way too much product. I looked crazy. It was all over my face. And this is pretty waxy, which makes it an amazing brow like mascara. What? Why can't I think of the word for it? Like brow texturizer, brow mascara. Is that what you call it? I can't think of. You know what I'm talking about? Give me brow. Um, the fact that this is waxy gives you a kind of a soap brow look um but also with pigment and so what i do is i just um it's actually all i have on my eyebrows today um and what i do is just like clean off the product here like back into this little tube i don't use this on my eyes um, i just use it on my eyebrows so it just fills them in really nicely adds some hold and also a little bit of texture which might sound bit strange but I as far as I can tell from like the reviews on the Glossier boy brow um, I think that's what that does to, as well it just like plumps up your brows a little bit it's like a volumizer for your brows I actually really like this so if you want to see how I apply this then let me know I'm trying to gonna try to insert some clips of me applying this but you got to be careful with this guy but I think that the results are worth it so just beware you might look crazy the first time you do this, but hang in there and <laughs> I'll do a tutorial if you'd like. All right, so the last product is lips. Their lip line is insane. Like, it's overwhelming. I want all the things, but um, I try to like hone it in every time. So I've tried several of the formulas and so I just gathered a few here to talk about. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Boss Gloss. And this is an adorable little package. This formula is really great. Um, it's just a really nice pigmented gloss, not too pigmented, like that it's gonna like melt all over your face, but um, enough pigment that it's gonna cancel out like whatever pigment you have going on on your lips. And so I really like this. Like this to me gives me a comparable look to the Buxom um, creams. Why can't I think of the word? I used to love White Russian and like Dolly, those, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about, buxom like cream glosses. Um, and so obviously this is a much smaller package, but for me, I prefer this. I'm not paying for a ton of product that I'm going to have to toss out later on because I didn't use it before the expiration date. Um, and so this is in the shade HBIC. It's what I have on right now. It's a really pretty like neutral color. There's a ton of shades in this, so I definitely would like to try more. The next is an amplified lip glaze. It's just like a gloss, but in a stick form. And um, it's kind of got a like minty sort of a scent. So this reminds me a lot of the Buxom glosses as well. It's just in a stick form. Okay, and then the next is Stick Slick. No, Slick Stick. Slick stick, and I have mine in the shade Chantilly. This is really pretty. This reminds me a little bit of um, the Dior like lip balm that kind of like changes with the your pH or your body temperature or whatever. Like it looks pretty like baby pink, but it changes a bit uh, after I've had it on for a few minutes. And then the last one is Kisser Slicker, and this is just clear. I really like that their glosses are in stick form, most of them, except for the boss glosses. But um, I just think it's really convenient, easy to put on like without a mirror. Um, this one, it says flavored lip gloss, but I'm not, I don't notice like a huge scent with this. But I am gonna apply this one for you because it, it's not gonna look like anything. Um, and as you can see, like it's just like a chapstick with just a little bit more of a gloss. 
I can't tell what flavor it's supposed to be, but it just tastes a bit sweet to me. All right, so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know, have you guys tried anything from them? Let me know below. Let me know what your favorite products are or let me know what you'd like me to try out next. Um, some ideas on videos you'd like to see. I would love to do more content on this brand because I just think that they deserve a lot more love than they're getting. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out a lot and I'd love it if you subscribed and watched out for my next video. So that is everything and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye.